Hello, everybody. This is Dave, and I'm back in the garage. And it's time to pull some eBay orders. I did a little bit of eBay listing yesterday, like four items, I think. So not much, but something. We had some really cool sales come across regardless, though. So that's exciting. And uh, we did Anna Squishmallow auction. A bunch of you guys showed up and supported her. Thank you for that. She's uh, She and I kind of shipped it all out last night after the auction. And today I've been working on some cooking videos because I haven't made any of those in like a month. I mean, I've had some that I'd scheduled, but I hadn't actually recorded any in like a month. So I've been doing that pretty much all day since I woke up. It's now 5 p.m. So when I do those, it's like a big time commitment, but I did a few of them, which should be a couple weeks of videos. So anyways, all that to say, I knew I wasn't going to get a lot done in the reselling world today. So I had Mikey come out, my nephew, to do some cross listing for me. And while I don't know if it paid off yet, let me pull up Makari. I think you cross listed about 170 items. Um... Yeah, about 170 items. He cross-listed them to Poshmark and to uh, Mercari. And he used Vendu. So, hey, Vendu shout out, guys. Vendu is what I use to cross-list. Apparently, there's some very exciting news coming next month that I'm pretty pumped about. But it's still, like, under NDA. But I am very excited about this news that's going to come from Vendu. So stay tuned for that. Uh, you might as well sign up for it now. Because it's the best cross-listing app. I use it. I love it. Um... Ooh, I just got a $10 offer for a sports card. <laughs> I'm a sports card guy. Uh, but I did sell something on there. It was, I think, one of my Pokemon thingies. Let me see if I can find it here. That was on Mercari, not on Vendu. I mean, I guess Vendu's part of it, but the sale is on Mercari. So yeah, guys, if you haven't tried Vendu yet, use my link down below. Time to ship. Yeah, I did sell something on uh, Mercari. Uh, use my link down below. Cross-list your stuff. Make sure you keep cross-listing it. So I'm not like overly consistent on cross-listing what i'll do is i'll like either me or callie or mikey yes literally my nine-year-old cross lists for me sometimes on there it's that easy but we will go in there and we'll cross list a whole bunch over a couple hours and then i won't even really think about cross listing again for like two weeks three weeks and then i'll go in after i've listed a bunch more on ebay and i'll cross list a bunch more it's not the best way to do it but it's the way i do it and it seems to work because every time i go back in there and list a bunch on mercari and posh I get new sales on there. So try out Vendu, link below. Uh, let's pull this one first. Mercari sold Pokemon Evolution Multipack. Uh, and I have to send that right now. So let me open the label. I am a little like, uh, I'm always a little bit late on shipping Mercari, unfortunately. I shouldn't be. It's just, it's never top of mind. Firm is sent. Yes. Okay. So that's shipped out. Uh, I'll pack it tonight. It'll be easy. Oh, I sold that for 15 plus shipping, by the way. Those were not a, a great buy. I think I paid five bucks a piece. I'm selling them. I'm making a profit and they're selling pretty quick. I think about like eight of them or nine of them and, you know, slowly selling for 15 a piece. Uh, they did end up in my sale on eBay and I sold one over there as well. That's why I pulled two of them. And I think the one on eBay sold for less. Let me see. Yeah, $12.75 over on eBay. So yeah, we sold some stuff over on Mercari, but well, that one thing, hopefully we get a bunch more sales because usually right after doing a bunch of cross-listing we see a bunch of sales comes come in and that would be great now i'm a little confused about this mad magazine buy that i sold i sold a bunch of mad magazines and i need to find the footage i haven't found the footage i can't remember what i paid for some reason i have this weird feeling i paid like 20 dollars, 25 dollars for these um but i think there was a bunch of other stuff in my box too i think i got more than just that because these are all like you know 1970s 60s mad magazines I sold a lot of them for 30 bucks, which is about what I thought they'd be worth, meaning that I must have had a lot more in my box that I was buying from this guy than just those. Otherwise, I wouldn't have paid like $20, $25. So I don't know. Even if I did, that would break me even. I just can't remember what else I got from him. Uh, sometimes that happens. Like I'll buy stuff and just totally lose it. Like I found all these salt and pepper shakers that I could not find. I've been looking for these for like weeks. They're all like these old Japanese salt and pepper shakers. And they were like shoved underneath this bottom shelf here. And I just, I couldn't find them anywhere. So sometimes that does happen. I just lose stuff. Uh, as far as sales, we got some really good ones. Uh, one of them, I think it was on eBay. Yeah, it was. Is one of these Halloween like mannequin things that I got from a uh, local down in Port Orange. It is at a yard sale. It is a Berserker zombie. Let me see if I can show you this thing. 
There, you can kind of see it. It's from Spirit Halloween. I was really excited when I got it. I'm still really excited because I made a big profit. My voice cracking. Uh, I'm still really excited because I made a nice profit on it. I paid $25 for that, and it sold for 100 at a best offer plus shipping. Now, when I first got it, I thought it was worth like two, three, maybe even $400. Uh, but when I took it apart, you know, it was missing a bunch of pieces. There was stuff not included. Uh, some of the parts were broken, things like that. But instead of listing it for a couple, three... Three plus hundred, I listed it for 170, 150, something like that. Guy sent me a best offer for a hundred, and like I said, I took it. Takes up a lot of space. That triples my money, obviously, before fees and stuff, and I was happy with that. I actually got two. I got the Flaming Black Widow. She was also damaged. I listed her too. I think she's like 150 or something. If I got a hundred dollar on an offer on that one, I would take it as well. Uh, but yeah, so fifty dollars for both of them. Sold this one for a hundred. I'm broken even. I'm in the profit. And then when I sell the other one, it'll be pure profit. So that's pretty good. Anyways, I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm like trying to kick into reseller brain because I feel like I haven't been thinking about reselling all day because I've been just so busy with the cooking stuff. But, and not only that, like the kids are moving their rooms around right now. Oh, this is such a cool club. Where did I put this one? The kids are moving their rooms around. Anna is like bought Elijah's room. That was one of the reasons she wanted to do the big auction because Elijah said, you can have the big room if you buy it. Good old economy of children going in my house. And so she had to save up money. She's been doing work for grandma and grandpa, work for me, and now the auction. And she finally has enough to buy his room, buy the paint because she needs to paint the room because her room is pink. So she needs to, you know, make it a normal color for Elijah and make her room, which is Elijah's older room, not a boy color. It's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. <laughs> Either way, that's the project in the house like I'm going in every now and then and it's just mayhem in there so a lot of wild non-reseller stuff in the house today this is a cool club though I mentioned in my last video sports are selling right now golf is selling right now I want to just go find golf clubs that's like what I want more than anything because my golf clubs are flying $54 for this Mizuno JPX 800 yeah and it looks like we might get rain tomorrow tomorrow's Friday uh, tomorrow and Saturday and so I may not be able to do any sourcing which Honestly, like I'm getting to the point. I don't need to. I've got my whole storage container. I plan on doing an auction out of that next week at some point. Maybe midweek. I'm not sure. Friday, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to be busy because Brandon's coming to town. But sometime... Oh, I've got a baseball bat I could list. I should do that. Sometime next week, I do want to do an auction out of there. I'm doing an auction tonight on whatnot. Going through a bunch of action figures. I think I'm going to sell... I don't know, I gotta look up some of the salt and pepper shakers and decide what I want to do with them. I feel like I could put them on eBay probably. Probably most of them are worth 15 plus because they're like vintage, but I don't know. I've never flipped salt and pepper shakers really. So I actually don't know that category. So I might look up a couple, try to figure out where they stand and if they're like, you know, if they're worth a ton, I'll put them on eBay, but I don't, I don't really think they are. They're cool though. Okay, I sold another one of those clubs. What is it? The pitching wedge from that buy with the bad grips that we talked about in the last video. In the last video, I was talking about just golf clubs selling. And then I was listening to a podcast and they were talking about how all their baseball stuff selling. So definitely have a lot of movement. That was the, uh, oh, let's see. It's a, it's a new name, but it's an old podcast. It used to be called Pocket Change and now it's called The Leftovers, Reseller Leftovers. And Jimmy was saying all of his um, baseball stuff is selling. So yeah, this sold. This is Taylor Made Speed Blade. Uh, it's a pitching wedge. Bad grip on this one. It's in that bad grip buy. Sold that one for $50 free shipping a hundred dollars in golf clubs look at that oh i missed a call I, I made the mistake of like trying to get an insurance quote because i keep hearing that insurance in florida is like skyrocketing for everyone everyone's like losing their mind so i was like i should probably see if my insurance is gonna skyrocket and so i like just went online and i typed in oh wait are these my nice comics they are i don't want these over here and i just typed into like, you know, one of those insurance sites, all my information, trying to get a quote for insurance. And I have been getting phone calls nonstop now from insurance companies, all these different insurance companies, just nonstop, nonstop calls. I was thinking about uh, listing the rest of my comics and not sending them in to get graded. What do you guys think of that? This one sold Thor 143, 1967. That was a $15 free shipping book. I have a bunch of these comics sitting over here that are like solid, solid books, right? Like Fantastic Four number 55 is a good example that I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll get them graded, you know, down the road. But I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I should or shouldn't. What do you guys think? Fantastic Four number 55. Let's look it up. Because like the, the market's not that great right now for comics anyways. And... Okay, so yeah, let's look this one up. Sold items. So Loose, that comic book has sold for 
72. Someone said it was a 5.0. 63, uh, 43, 127 for a nice condition one. Uh, 255. That one's loose. I don't know if that's... I don't understand why that one sold for so much. 163. They're saying it's a 6.5. Okay. But then we look at the actual graded ones and a 5.0 sold for 100 and 8.0 sold for 400. Now, let's see. Is there any other grades that have sold? 5.0 for 120. 7.5 for 215 at auction. An 8 for... So this is what I mean. Like, maybe I could get 300 max. Let me look at the condition. Based on my skills and excellence in comic grading, I think this would come back a 7. Like, it's it's a really quite nice, actually. I don't think it'd be higher than a 7, but I think it's about a 7. So I think I could maybe sell this for 300 That's my theory, $300. Um, but to get it graded, to get it graded would probably be, gosh, can I remember? And pressed, probably 100 bucks, And uh, that's to get 300 out of it. Whereas if I just list it as is, I could probably get, like, a hundred because I, I can say it's like grade seven do really good pictures um and i wouldn't have to wait a month i mean the time's not a big deal so basically i spend a hundred to make an extra 200 plus it's time and energy and effort and the stress of it getting lost in the mail i'm just i'm to the point where i'm like should i just list these like just look through them and just list them as is uh let me know what you guys think so here's another one like i should probably just list like graded it goes for decent money 165 the mighty thor people like that cover art but I don't know. Maybe I just need to look through again. I've got some good books. You guys tell me. You comic pros, tell me what I should do. Should I should I get these graded or should I just list them and just be done with it? It would be nice to just throw up several hundred. Honestly, it's probably a couple thousand. Yeah, maybe, maybe not a couple thousand. Maybe a thousand plus in comic books I could list there. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, that was a, a random diatribe. I don't know why I went down that road. I just was thinking it. So this is the coolest sale. Mm, let's delay it a minute. Let's pull pull a less cool sale while I give you some, uh, you know, tease the really good sale. That's what Commonwealth Picker would do, right? He'd just tease. Oh, I have to open the door to get this Pyrex. I sold some Pyrex. I was out with Carrie and Dawn and Dawn found this Pyrex. Like, oh, it's so cool. I wish I could buy it, but I can't because I'm not near home. Uh, and I wouldn't be able to get it home, blah, blah, blah. She's like, Dave, you should buy it. And I was like, all right, fine. When Dawn tells me to buy glass, I just do it. Because last time I made like $300 that she said that to me. So now I just do it. Now this one wasn't as good, but it was fine. I uh, paid $18 for this set of Pyrex. And I sold, uh, what was it? Three quarters of it. Three quarters of it sold. I'm not exactly sure which ones, but it's this orange stuff. Orange Pyrex with the wheat pattern, I believe it's called. And they sold for 15 a piece, the three of them that I sold. So 15, 30, 45 dollars spent 18, which means that you know, if you're keeping track, we're in the profit. Uh, but we could make another 15 bucks, which would put us even more in the profit. But yeah, so 18 into 45 dollars. Uh, and again, we'll make more when we sell the last one. It wasn't like a home run, but it was decent. So I sold the plush. And actually, I reorganized my plush. Let me show you that too. I don't know if I like it or not. Uh, I think it'll certainly make it quicker to pull plush that I sell, but it seems like I have less space now. And the way I did it for now, because I have so many artisanal bears, is I've got three totes of artisanal signature bears there. The problem is those are gonna sit there forever. So I can almost like, I don't know, move them somewhere else so they're not taking up prime real estate because I just can't see them selling very fast. I then have two Disney totes. These are, uh, this is Disney. And where's the other Disney? Is that Disney? I don't know, I thought I had two Disney totes. I at least have one Disney tote. Then I have just big plushies in here. And then these are smalls, just really small plushes. Uh, and over here is like animated and electronic plushies, plushies that do stuff. That's where it is right now. It should make it easier to pull orders. Uh, but the one I sold, of course, is in the no bin. Cause over here I've got even more that I just couldn't fit in the bins. So that's what I, I mean. It's not quite perfect yet. I need to spend some more time on it. All these wouldn't fit in a bin yet. Now, big part of the reason is because I couldn't buy more bins because at Walmart, all the bins are broken. It's crazy. I thought I only got the non-broken ones. Like I spent a bunch of time just seeking out the good condition ones. I get home and three of them were still slightly cracked with all that going on. But anyways, I sold a plush for $250. $250 free ship. I did offer free ship. Now this plush, <laughs> okay, so I go to the flea market. 
I go to this booth and it's a booth I don't really like shopping at because their prices are always crazy high and it's hard to make a profit there. And Carrie was telling me like, dude, don't even go there. You know, you're not going to be able to make a profit. And I was like, yeah, but this is such a, I saw this really cool item. I saw this, this plush. And I was like, oh, I just want to see how much it is because it's so cool. And he's like, all right, all right. So he goes over there with me and she says, I think I'm pretty sure she said $25. And Carrie was trying, I, I, I'm literally just calling out Carrie, my friend here. He was trying to convince me not to do it. He said, it's a bad buy, it's a bad buy. I said, I really don't think that's a bad buy. Really don't think 25 is a bad buy on this plush. And I finally was like, I'm gonna do it. I know you think it's a bad buy, I'm gonna do it. So I buy the plush. Carrie, comment down below if you see this and let us know. Uh, that you now have decided to accept my brilliance in plush flipping because <laughs> I sold this plush for $250. I cannot find a comp. I might've been able to get more. There was no solds, there was no actives. I saw one active on some weird site that didn't look like a legit site. It was like $400 was the active. I was like, I'm gonna go 250 on eBay free shipping and it took about a week, but it sold and it is our friend Charles Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese plush, 28 inch, Chuck E. Cheese. I saw him and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. It's nine, it's 2000, so it's a vintage Chuck E. Cheese. Not in the best condition, some minor staining on the pants and stuff. Uh, Chuck E. Cheese Kid Stuff is the brand. And we sold that, guys, for $250. The Plush Master strikes again. <laughs> ah. Humble, Dave. Always stay humble, even when you sell Chuck E. Cheese for $250. i am just so excited about it. You know, it's like you sell a CB radio for $180 and you're like, eh, who really cares, right? Like, cause it's expected that you're gonna get decent money for a CB radio. But when you sell something like a stinking Chuck E. Cheese plush for 200, that's a moment. That's a moment that you have with yourself where you're like, yes, I did it. I did it, guys. I sold a Chuck E. Cheese. All the mockery about my pulling plush all the time can finally stop. Although it's not even that, like, I was reading some TikTok comments. I kind of stopped reading TikTok comments like two years ago, but it was funny because I decided to read some today and what a, what a ridiculous place it is. Like every single video I ever post, I was reading through them. They're like, get a job, get a job. Why don't you get a job? They're all, it's like the same line from every one of them, get a job. I'm just like, dude, I quit my job. Jobs suck. I don't want a job. <laughs> Why would I go get a job? Uh, but yeah, that's the funniest one to me. Just the get a job line. I don't know if I want that there in case there's rain. Anyways, I just pulled some graphic novels I sold. Grendel Omnibus Volume 3 and Grendel Omnibus Volume 2. Sold that lot for $21.25 plus shipping. Already in the profit on the graphic novel, so that's pure profit, that $21. But yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I just struggle with that. That doesn't, like, it doesn't even make sense to me, really. The get a job comment. Well, mind you, they said it when I had a job, too. Like, I would always respond, I have one. But now I really don't have a job. And I'm like, well, I don't want a job. I, I'm enjoying not having a job. I'm enjoying working for myself. Thank you very much. And some people would call this our job, right? Guys out there watching this. I know a lot of you guys do this as your, your main thing, right? Isn't this our job? I sold some MCM. I'm becoming an MCM, you know, seller at this point. These ones had a little paint chip. So I had to sell them a little lower than normal. They're like little wall sconces. These are popular, but they're not worth a ton. You get them for super cheap. Kind of, that's where I'm at. If I can get them for super cheap, like three bucks for two, uh, I'll probably buy them. Maybe five if they're in great condition. Those were not in great condition. I think if those were in great condition, I would have gotten 30 for them. Since they're in mediocre condition, I sold them for $20. $22.99, is that right? 20, yeah, $20.69, $20.69. Oh, and I sold another golf club. Eh, this one's not great, but let's pull it anyways. Elmer Peerless, number three. Yeah, I... I had these dreams of like garage sailing tomorrow. I just don't know if it's gonna happen. I don't know if I can make it make sense. Ooh, uh, okay, now I'm standing up on a precarious box of boxes. A box of boxes, packing boxes, I don't know. Palmer, Peerless, Chattanooga, three. Yeah, you can, uh, that was hard to get out of there. Uh, okay, so I think this is one that sold. Palmer, Peerless, three wood. It's like an old vintage club. It's in nice condition though. It's got that really shiny wood. Even the grip is in decent shape. I mean, for the age. It's a long club too. Sold that for 25 free shipping. I don't know if someone's actually gonna use that or if that's just gonna go like on their wall or something. Yeah, that Berserker zombie, I do need to ship. I'm just not gonna pull it down right now because, you know, I'll pull it down and I'll ship it a little bit later. Um, no need to pull it down now. I'd like to get it all packed up because tomorrow is Friday and I'd like to have all the Friday orders shipped out. 
you know, before the weekend. I did get a complaint. Someone said a G.I. Joe I sent out an eBay sale, a red one. Uh, has no update on the tracking, which I'm surprised. I went and looked, and they were right. No update on the tracking. Might be lost. I think that I sold it for 15 so not a big deal. Worst case, I'll just refund them. Anyways, this sold. This is an Oculus, Oculus Rift controller. When I found that, I thought I had, like, a pretty nice find, like a $40, $50 find. But when I opened it, I saw it was actually pretty heavily damaged. Probably had been dropped at some point. So I listed it for parts as is, untested. And sold it for 20 plus shipping. And I paid 5 for it. So I still did fine on it did buy something off eBay and uh, got a note from the seller. It seems like if I buy stuff off eBay, every now and then I'll get like a little handwritten note saying, hey, thanks for buying, I watch your videos. So this person sent me a handwritten note said, thanks for buying, I watch your videos on Facebook all the time. So that was kind of cool. I thought that was kind of cool. I don't put these videos on Facebook, so they probably don't know about this channel, but I, I did think that was kind of kind of nifty. Yeah, the hope was to go garage sailing. I mean, that's, that's my constant dilemma is just <laughs> figuring out what to work on when, right? Sourcing, is it that important right now? Probably not, probably not. I probably don't need to source multiple days this weekend. I know there's a flea market this weekend. There's all this stuff going on. And I probably just don't need the inventory, to be honest. Uh, and mind you, I, I have pretty empty inventory shelves, but I've got those totes full of stuff that I can look through, list on eBay, list on um, whatnot if needed. I've got a lot of stuff that I could sell. I sold another golf club, goodness gracious. Um, so I don't really need to go sourcing. I just enjoy sourcing. It's like the best part of being a flipper, right? But my friend Brandon, CVA Thrifts on YouTube, is coming to town in a week. Next Friday, I believe he'll be here. So about eight days from now, seven days for you if you're watching this on Friday. And we're gonna, we've got like a big sourcing binge kind of plan. We're gonna be doing a bunch, bunch of sourcing. So with that being the case, maybe it's okay to not even source this weekend at all. Like Friday... He's gonna get in. Saturday, we're gonna go to garage sales. Monday, we're gonna go probably to the Webster. Wednesday, we'll probably go to a flea market, maybe Plant City. Friday, we'll go to garage sales again that next week. Saturday, we'll head probably to another flea market with the whole family. Um, and then he leaves Sunday. So I'm gonna be sourcing five days out of seven when he's here. So it might be okay to not really even garage sale. Maybe I should use this weekend to keep catching up. You know, just keep catching up, keep listing, keep editing. That's probably what I should do. I shouldn't source this weekend. Am I making a big decision right now to just not source this weekend and focus on editing again? That would be wise. Not just editing. I'm way uh, way behind on editing and I'd have time to schedule or to list more on eBay. And if you guys tell me to list my comics, I could list all those this weekend too if I stayed here and bring in hundreds of dollars just by listing all those comics just being done with them. Anyways, I'm just really off on a rant. So this is the other club. This is again from that buy with bad grips where I spent 25 bucks. I'm already well in the profit. That one is a five hybrid, sold it for $58 free shipping over on eBay. So yeah, that buy is nuts, guys, it's nuts. And then the buyer of this one did message me. They said, when is the shipping? It looks like it's due to ship tomorrow, but I'm gonna pack it up tonight. Now, where did I put this one? Oh okay, yeah, this is a littlest pet shop. I think I got this at the highway sale over in Georgia. And I got, I paid very little for it. A couple bucks, I think. And it sold really quick. It's my a littlest pet shop. When you find them new in the package, even not new in the package, we get a lot of them. These can sell for really good money. I know Dawn just sold a bag, a Ziploc bag full of them for a hundred. Uh, they were all loose. That I put back because the guy wanted kind of a lot. He wanted like 20 bucks. I was like, I don't want to pay that much for him loose. I should have. But hey, I'm glad she got it still and she sold it for 100 This I got from I think the same guy for 5 bucks. So one of the pieces is loose. I put C pictures in the listing so people would see that. But that sold for 50 on eBay and it sold very fast. So not bad at all. Definitely look out for Lilith's Pet Shop. I think most of you know that. But just in case, I'll tell you again. I'll remind you. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. I kind of instantly just had a weight come off my shoulders when I decided maybe I won't go picking this weekend. The only, I guess there's one good reason to go picking this weekend. And that is to get some quality time with Mama Picker. I haven't gone picking with her or even hung out with her in several weeks. And although I could bring her with Brandon and Jen next week. So it's not the end of the world. And her cat just had kittens today. Uh, Thursday, so she's probably not gonna want to leave her kittens anyway, so maybe I'll just tell her and it's gonna rain So with all that combined, maybe I just need to make an executive decision I'm not going picking this weekend at all I'm gonna stay home gonna keep catching up gonna edit footage gonna spend time with the family and then next week when Brandon's here It's pick pick mania. It'll, it'll I'll be in a better spot there anyways, you know, I think it's better to do it that way anyways I'll talk to Tina about it. She's always she's Tina's so wise. I don't know It's good to have a wife in your corner who's smart 
uh, and supportive. And I do have that. So $908 sold over on eBay. And let's see, was it, what did we say we sold on uh, Mercari? Like 15 bucks, something like that. So a little bit, a little bit over 900 Anna did good. She made enough, I think she made 900 after fees on all her Squishmallows. She's like, I can't believe how much money I have. This is crazy. I mean, she's probably invested between us and her and friends and everyone else who bought her Squishmallows over the year. It's probably a loss, honestly. <laughs> There's probably no profit in that, in that auction, but it was cool for her to like do it, to ship it all, to list it all. She had to do all the work for it. I think it was good for her to see like things like paint costs 100 hundred plus dollars like she went to buy paint for her room she spent 180 dollars that's a good life lesson for kids they don't appreciate the cost of just like things that you don't even you know appreciate right you don't appreciate the things you don't appreciate and she never even realized that paint costs money that didn't even process for her here's a little box of goodies all right let's end this video i gotta i gotta go help them paint uh, you know I haven't been helping because I've been focusing on this. So I need to ship these and then I need to go help them with the project in the house. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate everyone who watches, who comes along. All these people whose names are probably scrolling right now, they're supporters on my channel. They donate to me monthly and I definitely appreciate that support for me and my family. Thank you guys for doing that and for staying with it. Um, that's always very helpful to us. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.